Why won't he step up and be a man in the marriage? Hey, I'm Sharon Pope. I am the love and relationship coach for women who are struggling in disconnected marriages and trying to figure out, can they stay and make it work? Or is the only answer to leave? If you find this information and my channel helpful, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. So today we're talking about something that I hear pretty frequently from women, and that's that they want their men to step up and be a man in the relationship, and they don't understand why he doesn't. So one of the things that we, I'm just going to call us type A women, like to do is we have ideas about how things should be done. We think we've got lots of good ideas, don't we? And we do, but we put that onto our spouses and we bring that into our marriages as well. So we have all these ideas about what our husbands should be doing, how they should be doing it, what the time frame that thing should be done in, <laughs> and what our husbands will often hear on the receiving end of all that is criticism. That does not help us create a loving, connected, committed relationship to one another. It also does not make it a place where men want to step into and be a man, right? If they're treated like a child, you cannot expect a man to show up. One of the most toxic things I will hear women say is something along the lines of, I feel like I just have another child. Oh boy. That is seriously, if you feel that way, that is one of the most toxic things that you can bring into your marriage is when you look at your husband and you see him and treat him as though he's a child. If you do that, you cannot expect a man to show up. So I'm going to tell you the story of one of my clients. When we first started working together, she was on her last leg. Like she was ready to pack her bags and leave her house even leave her two teenage children knowing that they would probably do better staying in the family home with her husband. She was ready to blow up her life essentially because she was that unhappy inside of her marriage. Now she had lots of criticisms that she came to me with about her husband. She said he didn't listen to her. She said he was always interrupting her and she just felt unheard. She didn't feel appreciated. She said he was so into his cell phone he was way more interested in what was going on in his cell phone than what was going on in the household, in the family, and most certainly inside of their marriage. She said they weren't having sex very often. And yes, believe it or not, sometimes women want to have sex more than their male partners. It happens. But her biggest complaint was that I want him to show up as a man inside this relationship, which in her mind meant I want him to take a leadership role in the marriage. And I don't understand why he doesn't do that. And so now, so many months later, as I talk to her about the differences between men and women and how women sometimes unintentionally create the exact opposite experience of what they want to have in their marriage through controlling and criticizing and chastising the man that they've married. And so, I'm going to hand it to her because she was brave enough to be able to look at that. A lot of women won't look at that. They just, it's easier to say he's the problem and he needs to fix it. Well, that seems easier, except that that's a recipe for a lifetime of an unhappy marriage. And it's not easy to live inside an unhappy marriage for the rest of your years. So she was willing to look at what was her role in the creation of her experience. She was willing to create some new patterns of behavior and she started showing up differently inside the relationship. Now she sent me an email this week and here's what she said. I'm going to share it with you verbatim. Okay. She said, I kept wanting him to step up and be a man, but I was chastising and criticizing him as though he was a child. She went on to say, I wasn't showing up as the woman I wanted to be. And as soon as I did is when everything began to change. Now I'm going to tell you, they are like, in, when I think about all the clients that I've worked with and all the clients that I'm working with currently, 
I'm not exaggerating when I say this is for sure the happiest couple <laughs> that I have ever worked with in terms of where they are today. They are more connected. They're more respectful. They really, they genuinely appreciate one another in a way that they weren't doing before. And now their relationship has completely transformed. And you know what? I've never met her husband. I know his first name. I know some things about him. I've worked with her. And so if you ever doubt like one person can make a difference inside of a relationship, use this client as your mental go-to example. She showed up differently. And when she did, that changed the dynamic in the relationship. When she stopped criticizing and started appreciating, that changed the way he reacted and responded to her. And that, by the way, has changed everything. So if you feel like you're in that place of where you're ready to throw in the towel, but you're petrified or paralyzed at the thought of that, then I would invite you to schedule a truth and clarity session with me. You can find the link to that in the notes and we can explore whether or not there's a fit for us to work together in a private coaching capacity. But if not, and you find this information that I'm sharing with you helpful, I at least hope you'll subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be notified whenever there's a new video, just hit the red bell in the top right corner. Take good care.